Man, I'm wiped, you guys. Who knew raking leaves and pulling weeds could be so tiring? Well, anything can be tiring when it takes nine hours. Well, that's... Took two and a half hours. Well, it, it felt like nine. Well, apparently there's a big difference between your reality and your delusional feelings. Hey, don't tell me how I should feel. Guys, it doesn't matter how long it really took. What I want to know is why it is so cold. It's only November. That is true. So, what did Preacher say in that text again? Uh, he said, uh, hallelujah and salutations, dear brother. After y'all get finished at Mrs. Wycliffe's house this morning, I'd be so thrilled if you dropped back by the church. To God be the glory. Amen. We're here. Where is he? Good morning, good morning, brethren. How nice it is to see you all here today on this glorious day that our Lord God Almighty has made. Well, the preacher man, you've got to stop doing that. What were you doing in there anyways? That is an excellent question. I am very glad that you've all come back to the church today. I have some wonderful news to share with all of you. We had a humongous very generous anonymous donation made by Brother William Mendenhall. And using those new funds, we will finally be able to make that new project over in the countryside that we've all been praying about for these past five months. That's just awesome! Rock on! So who's, who, who are you getting to contract it? You, you've got to get the Amish. You always have to trump, trust the Amish with this kind of project. We are. Well, uh, when are we going to start the building? In like a couple of weeks? or Right now. Right this very moment. Of course, there is no time like the present. And the kingdom of heaven has no red lights. No. Come on, the rest of the congregation's already there. All of you just grab some tools and I can fit all of you in my car. Come on! everything down, set everything down. Now I cannot tell you how it warms the cockles of my heart to see y'all here ready and willing to continue the work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen! Yeah. Well then, let's get started. As you can see here, we've got all the tools we need, so let's get cracking my bread breaking friends. Sister Hannah, go ahead, that sander is as good as yours. Yep. Brother Aaron, go ahead and pick up that hammer then. Girls, that paint and buckets are as good as yours. Get to painting and... Now where's the saw? Has anybody seen the saw? I bet it's Kyle's fault. I bet he forgot it. Why is everything my fault? It always is your fault, Kyle. It's just... How dare you? I, re I resent that remark. Okay. I never make mistakes. Remember when we went to the orphanage? Okay, you forgot the ice cream. How do you forget the ice cream? It, it wasn't that bad. They still got to make their crafts. That's not the point. Do you remember their faces? Their cheerless little faces. Peace, peace, children. Now, I do not know whose fault it is that this saw is missing, and I don't care whose fault it is. But. With all the lumber we have here, we cannot continue this work without the saw. Now, I will take care of the saw problem. Y'all just go ahead and get to work. I'll be back before you know it. Good luck finding this, brother. <laughs> oh, that'll do it, that'll do it. I just hate that brother of mine and his goody two-shoes. Let's save the whole ding-dang-dong world attitude. Oh, but I'll make him regret it. I'll distract all of his little helpers, and then all of his church's grows will amount to nothing. Then we'll see who gets embarrassed at the family reunion. <laughs> hey, preacher man, I thought you just left. That's a neat trick. Oh, you're not the preacher, man. You bet your Aunt Fanny Sweet Potatoes I ain't a preacher, kid. Oh, you're the one that got fired from the Florenceburg Middle School. You're thinking of somebody else. Maybe I have a triplet somewhere. I mean, twin. Twin. All right. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. 
Why don't you put down that hammer you're holding, and take this instead? It's a straw. Not just any straw. It's a metal straw! That's right! A metal straw made out of metallic materials to give you a sweet, cool taste when you want that warmed up drink to taste a little better, and on a cool day, something to make that cool drink just a little bit warmer for you. Try it out. Oh -ho. It tastes like I'm drinking out of a clay shirt! I know it does, kid. I know it does. Oh, I know exactly what you want, kid. I can see it in your frightened little pupils. You want a piece of this pie. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? Just like Grandma used to make, isn't it? There you'd be, out there playing baseball, and you'd come out, and you'd go back to the house, and there would Grandma be, putting a nice, hot, fresh, steaming pumpkin pie out to cool on the windowsill. It's all soft and crumbly. Do you want this pie, kid? Yeah. Don't fright me like that, you abominable child! Work is boring. And you know what? Word on the street is, you have cool stuff. I want one. Is that so? Yeah. But not just anything, I want to be a rock star. A rock star, huh? Yeah. I might have just the thing. They don't know about us, they don't they don't know about us. They don't know about us, they don't know about us. They don't know about us, they don't they don't they think we dumb dumb diddy dumb dumb But they gon' know, they gon' know about us, they gon' know about us, hey they gon' know about us, they they gon' know about us, oh they gon' know about us, they they gon' know about us, oh they gon' know about us, they gon' know about us. You know what's more fun than working? A five page single space opinionated essay on the symptoms of potassium deficiency? Yeah. Wait, is this a standardized number two pencil? Just write it. You have one hour. Hello, ladies. How are you doing on this fine autumn evening? Working is hard. That is a very interesting problem. Would you care to elaborate on it? What? Why is working hard? Oh, well, you just got to keep twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting. I think it's really, really boring. Oh, that is a shame. But you know what? How about you girls just put those tools down and rummage through some bags of fine designer brand name clothing? Do we look like idiots? Who cares about a bunch of dumb clothes? There are also accessories. Maybe there are bracelets and necklaces and stuff. Yeah! I want a costume too! You don't want to dress, do you? No. I think we might have something that fits you just fine. My Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their new trumpets will sound. All of the dead shall rise, rise. What in the world? Huh. Well, we'll Gonna have to do something about this. Happy forever. Happy forever. <laughs> Looks like my work here is done. See you at the reunion, brother. <laughs>
Be still and know the Lord is your God, brethren. Now what in the world do you think? Uh -oh. Sister, is that a mainland ukulele or is that a Hawaiian made brand? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Now what in the world do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be working right now. And where in the world did you get all of this, this stuff? Mm. Brother Kyle, is that a pie you are partaking of? Yeah, you gotta try some of this, it's good. My evil twin brother was here, wasn't he? Well, the guy who gave us all this stuff did look a lot like you. He sure did. And he had a mustache. I should have known that that no good brother of mine would be skanking around here before too long. Peddling his ways as is now his way, trying to destroy the work of my church. Lord have mercy upon his withered, twisted heart! My dear brethren, can't you see what's going on here? He is distracting you from the work of the church by stirring up all of these worldly and evil desires inside of your hearts. But preacher, he gave me a cool metal straw. And a bubble blower. But what's wrong with clothes and accessories? My dear brethren, there is nothing inherently wrong with the items within your possession. <laughs> peanut butter jelly time! 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 But Except perhaps the banana suit. Yeah, that that right one is probably questionable at best. However, you cannot let these things distract you from the good work of the church. From spreading the gospel. To doing the good work of God. From helping out others in need. Cheer up, my friends. We just have to get back on track. Remember what it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 9. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I beg of you not to have anything to do with those who loaf around and do not follow the instructions that I gave you. We did not loaf around and we did not accept food that we had not paid for. We did not want to be a burden for you, so we worked hard day and night. We had the right not to work, but we wanted to set an example for you. But there's so much to do. How long will we have to work? We'll work till Jesus comes. All right, everyone get in here. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, you guys ready? Two, one, two, three. One, two, three, go three. working, the building was up in no time, and you wouldn't believe how many people came pouring into the auditorium for that first Sunday service. It took a lot of hard work, and a little bit of sacrifice, but mostly it took dedication. Dedication to following God's will, and what His plan was for us, not our own selfish desires. And you know, it really did pay off in the end, seeing all of those happy, smiling faces leaving the auditorium after those first services. Yeah, we made a good choice. It really was worth it. <laughs>